Good evening, this is for you Daniel. Um, this is a R606MB or what's left of one. It's one that I've robbed for spares previously. Um, it's just one of the donor sets I keep under the bench for just in case I need a part, you know, like a module. I've already robbed one out of here. But this is your tuning module, this is the LP1402. This uh, might be the root of your problem. Uh, if you just watch the tuning here, you can see all I'm doing is moving that module underneath. Um, it's just on, I don't know whether it will pick this up, but there's a grommet here. There is another grommet just inside there. And another one in there just where that screw head is there. Now to get to those you have to remove the dial face and one side of the retainer just slides off nice and easy. The other side is kind of welded on with some sort of ancient double-sided sticky so I use a spudger which is like a just a piece of metal shaped type thing, you can buy these things, I get mine, well this is my original one I've had it years, uh, but you can get them on Amazon and I just use it for putting into the joint and then you can kind of work it all the way along sometimes a little bit of heat helps as well if you haven't got a uh, heat gun use a hairdryer just along the edge and it just breaks any adhesion Just working this all the way along, and they are uh, quite solidly stuck. But you do need to remove it if you're taking off the dial face, which we need to do to get to, to the grommets for this module and to the uh, to the brackets. You might just be able to bend it back into shape once we've got this done, but uh, it's more likely going to be a perished grommet. Let's just see if I can uh, get that off. You can see, I'm just lifting that up, and that's just pulled off. You can see on the, the double sided adhesive tape that's been on there since the set was born. And once that's removed, you can just take off the dial face, bob it on one side, and then here's your tuning spindle. And there are three screws and on here you can actually see, I'll use the spudger to point, but there are one, two, three screw heads and each of those has a grommet, a rubber grommet. Now these ones in this case are actually okay, um, they look fine, but I can still move that about. So. If yours, for whatever reason, if one of the grommets or a couple of the grommets have perished away, uh, it's not going to be sitting true. Or, where the, the screw goes through, so we'll pick this screw, where this screw goes through and feeds into an arm, the arm may be bent. You can see there how you can move the module and that changes the angle, obviously of that. So you can try and bend these back into shape if it's uh, if it's not the grommets or if it is the grommets you might find that it will sit true. So if I take out those screws bearing in mind this is just a donor set. If you do these one at a time you won't have to restring the tuning dial because obviously You've got the tuning cord wrapping around here. Uh, so if you do these grommets one at a time, you won't have to restring the dial, which is never a job for the faint of heart anyway. It's one of my least favourite jobs. There's the grommet out. So if I pretend that this is a new grommet, and I feed that back in there, Again, use the spudger 
tool or a screwdriver to get it to sit into the gap. This isn't going to go well because I'm doing a video. And there's the grommet back in. And then you put the screw back in. There we go. Not too tight. You'll start to see as you tighten it up the grommet will start to squash down. As soon as it starts to squash that's probably tight enough and you just repeat that with the other two. If you take all three out you'll lose the dial string off the spindle and that's a whole different ball game like I say so just do that one at a time and hopefully that should straighten things up. If it doesn't like I say again there's some brackets in here if I zoom down there's some brackets here now if the spindles had a knock it it could have put them out of true and it'll just be sitting off at an angle so you can actually bend those back into shape until the spindle is true hope that helps you uh, any other questions we're all here to help you can pick any one of us I just happen to uh, to know that these do get knocked out of true usually it's the uh, it's the treble or the base pot that get knocked out uh, like George found out because these are just plastic spindles and they bend over uh, you can replace the whole spindle or you can just uh, heat it up and get it as straight as you can before you put the knob back on but I digress this is just about the tuning module uh, and replacing those grommets to try and get this to sit true if your spindle is loose again that's a whole different ball game the module has to come apart really uh, but this one works uh, fine, you know, I'm keeping this as a donor for perhaps another set in the future that, that just might need one. Anyway, there you go, have fun, any questions, just ask, catch you later.